All right, guys. Well, in this video, I wanted to take some time to talk about an interesting modern stadium in Santa Clara, California. It is Levi Stadium, home of the San Francisco 49ers, their previous home, Candlestick Park, this stadium opening in 2014. The construction on it started in 2012. And the stadium certainly does have mixed reviews. I'm going to talk about its future. Do I see a potential renovation? Is it actually possible to add a roof to it? It is a little confusing when it comes to that because of how close they are to the airport and the regulations and apparently they can't build up to actually add a roof to it they can just kind of maybe add a canopy and I'm gonna get to that later but just looking at the stadium you do have one giant wall it's like three or four straight floors of nothing but suites and then under that there are some seats it is a very similar design to Ford Field a lot of people don't really compare it to Ford Field because Ford Field is a dome, so it's kind of hard to see the setup. But in general, Ford Field has all the suites on the on the one sideline, and then the other side is the two decks of seats. Levi Stadium's a little bit different because its seats go up a lot further, and it has like three decks. But it, it, that's kind of the design of the stadium. I'm a little bit surprised when you look at the exterior of this stadium and just how naked it is. Not that it matters too much, but for a stadium built in 2014, it did strike me as a little odd in terms of just the way it was built. And when it comes to the stadium, it has hosted many different events, obviously being in Santa Clara. It never has that great of a vibe, especially when it comes to college football. I know it hosted like the Red Box Bowl and the entire upper deck was closed. It had hosted the Pac-12 Championship and they had to tarp off sections of the upper deck. I remember one of those Alabama Clemson games that was played at Levi Stadium and even that they were like, it's not going to sell out. They've struggled in terms of college football getting people to the stadium. In general, we do remember it's hosted the Super Bowl already once. I would expect it to host it again. The total cost in terms of construction was $1.3 billion adjusted for inflation. At this point, it's about $1.7, maybe $1.8 billion, which honestly makes sense when you compare it to another open-air stadium that's being built right now, the new Highmark Stadium in New York for the Bills. That's at around $1.75 as well. So when it comes to the total, cost $1.3 in the year 2012. It does add up. The total capacity sitting right around 68000 It is expandable to around 75 k if it does host big time events. And that's basically how every one of these like tourist destination stadiums are. They're able to expand by about six or 7000 if it hosts a massive event like a Super Bowl, maybe a WrestleMania, something like that. And when it comes to the future of Levi Stadium, what I'll say on it is it has a very unique and complicated situation in terms of possibly renovating the stadium by adding some type of roof or canopy. And the reason I say canopy is because there was a test done and renderings put out that potentially involved a canopy structure added to Levi Stadium. It was like a shade structure to where half of the roof would be open, you know, just almost like a translucent type thing and then the other half would be the shade and it would shade off the entire you know massive wall of seats on the one side and the other side the side with the suites that's where the translucent roofer would be so you could let in the natural light onto the field now the reason they can't really build anything crazy like a big retractable roof I would kind of compare it to like Soldier Field if you guys look back the Bears currently are planning for a new stadium but back in like 2017 2018 they were talking about renovating Soldier Field again and they were potentially going to add a big time roof to it and, and like a huge support structure I don't think the 49ers are even allowed to do something like that now in terms of this stadium's lifespan and timeline that's normally what I look at with it being 10 years old it really doesn't need a massive renovation I will say it is interesting that just a few years into its life they put out you know a, a test in those renderings they contacted a company to see what a potential canopy would look like I do believe even with how close it is to the airport the, the main you want to know the main issue is it's not built into the ground because there are other stadiums that are close to the airport but they're built into the ground like SoFi Stadium the new Brown Stadium in Book Brook Park, if it happens, it's going to be a dome, but it's going to be built in the ground. This one is not. I do think they could add a canopy, but in terms of putting up like massive walls and doing some crazy translucent roof and keeping the interior fully controlled in terms of the climate, 
it would probably be pretty hard and obviously this would be an extremely costly project because the exterior of the stadium is so hollow. I would compare the, a potential massive renovation like adding a canopy to what the Jaguars are doing where it would cost likely over a billion dollars and there's just no way they would spend a billion dollars on a renovation to a stadium that's only 10 years old. Now, the 49ers, when they moved into this stadium, they were terrible. They had just lost Jim Harbaugh. They were going through some bad periods. And I do remember multiple games in like 2016, 2017, 2018. I mean, they had, you know, top five picks for multiple years. There would be rows and rows of empty seats. And it was especially brutal. And it still is brutal Early in the season, in September and October in Santa Clara, those 125 Pacific Time starts, because remember with the NFL, San Francisco, if they're going to be at home, they're going to have to play in the 405 window or 425 window, which is really 105 or 125 Pacific Time. Th those starts, the fans have complained they're terrible in terms of just the beating sun on those red seats, and there is no shade anywhere. It is just straight sun coming down. It reminds me of the old Sun Life Stadium, and obviously they renovated that. It became Hard Rock. They added the huge overhangs. I'm not saying the 49ers are going to do something like that, but it is pretty brutal. Now, the weather does get more tolerable as the season goes on. It alleviates and it's, you know, 60, 65 degrees. It gets nice in Santa Clara. But in general, I do wonder if the future of the stadium is potentially adding some type of shade or roof or doing something to potentially protect fans from the sun, considering just a few years after it opened, they were already talking about it. And I mean, there are stories that early on, like, Two years into the stadium's life, preseason games, fans were having like heat stroke because of how hot it was uh, with those those seats, especially in the sun, with the massive wall of just straight seats, and then the other side of it is just total suites. So when it comes to the future of Levi Stadium, I really don't see it getting a renovation anytime soon. If it does get like a massive overhaul, I would say it, it probably happened in like 10 to 15 years, not anytime soon, which would put the stadium's lifespan at around 20, maybe 25. Maybe they plan earlier than that. I know teams are getting renovations earlier and earlier, and maybe in three or four years, you look at the stadium, there's certainly a lot of things you could do in terms of renovating the exterior of it. The interior, I really don't think needs to be renovated outside of possibly, you know, you could argue the way it seems like places are going, maybe behind one of the end zones, building up like a bar or a social space area it wouldn't surprise me at all. That's just kind of how what's happening with some of these stadiums, especially in college. And I think it's going to trickle onto the NFL. But obviously the major move for this stadium with it being in California would be potentially adding some type of shade or canopy or overhang, which would be pretty hard to do based on how close it is to the airport and the fact that they really have limited room in terms of building above a certain level even though they've already looked into adding a canopy, it doesn't seem likely at this point that they will. So I would say it's going to get a major renovation possibly in 10 years. They're going to close up the exterior and they're going to modernize the interior. I can't give you an exact prediction on what the renovation will be because I don't know where stadiums will be in 10 years in terms of the trends, but I am going to say that probably one of the end zones will be renovated. They're going to add more social spaces, things like that. I do not think they're going to remove any seats. 68,000 is a fine number for a stadium. Obviously right now, San Francisco is in kind of a golden age in terms of their football team. They pump out like 12, 13 win seasons every year. They've been to some Super Bowls. We'll see if they can win one. They have no issues with attendance right now, and they do play a ton of primetime games, which also alleviates the potential sun problem. You know, if you're starting the game late afternoon, it's a Monday night game. It start like 5.30 Pacific time. It gets colder rather than starting the game at 1 o'clock, which would obviously be a lot hotter. The hottest time of day is right around 2.45, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then it slowly dissipates as you get into the evening hours. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.